talk about it. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got our guest host Jamel Hill joining us, who went viral this week. Now, why did you go uh, viral? The real reason you went viral. What do you mean the real reason? Because I, I said before, because she don't watch her towel, oh. but I'm talking about the real reason she went viral. <laughs> because I just asked, you know, how often do you change your towels? All right. And, and we got so many different answers. We got a producer up here that said uh, he changes his towels every two weeks. Uh, we had a, a, another young woman up here, producer, that said every week. Uh, I tell you, I change my, I don't change my towel. So my wife takes a shower That's and a I lie. use, I use my wife's towel. All that just for men you be using in <laughs> Beijing and all that. Like, I know you got to change your towel more than once a week. I use my wife's towel when she's done. And then every day she gets a new towel and I use her towels every day. Huh? Why would you use your wife's towels every day? Because usually my wife's towel is the one that's hanging up on the shower and I just take it and I dry off. That's so they share, they share towels. They share towels. Sh yeah. Well, she doesn't share with me. I share you, her towel and she gets her. a new one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's, that's How often do you change yours, Jamel? Uh, every three to four days. Yeah, and okay. it's usually my husband that he's the one who does it uh, typically. And so, like, it's funny you said that about sharing towels because an, another couple that I know, uh, they do the same thing. And, you know, uh, I was just like, that's so odd to share the same towel. I don't know. I was like, I, I thought the comfort level was there because they're both lesbians, mm -hmm. right? So, like, they, I was like, oh, is it because y'all both women? Is that mm -hmm. what it is? And she was like, no, we've just been sharing towels. It's just easier. I just don't see the point. Yeah. Like, what's the point of sharing towels? It's two of y'all. Y'all can have two towels hanging up on the rack. Yeah, we don't take two showers. We don't take showers at the same time all the time. So, she takes a shower and then, you know, a couple hours later, towels dry. I use her shower. I mean, I use her towel. But you have your own towel. And so, that means the towel never gets dried. Oh, yeah, that's true, You know true what I'm saying? Too. The towel's yeah, always damp. But that's why she gets a new towel, because she don't like to use my towel, but I use her towel. I think not? this is a way, This that's kind of like a sneaky backdoor way of you changing your towel every day. Yeah. Pretty basically, much. basically, yeah. right? Yeah. You should have seen how his eyes lit up when you said sneaky back door. <laughs> you know, he didn't know where yeah. you was going with it, Jamel. Free envy, free envy, free envy. <laughs> Let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? DJ Hitler from Detroit. I know you change your towel once a month. <laughs> you ain't gonna do around Detroit DJ people Hitler. like that. I'm just saying, <laughs> DJ Hitler from be... Detroit once a month. No, no, no. It's not. It's not about me. I know. I got a friend. They believe that you shouldn't use soap when what? you wash your towel as a defeats the purpose. They just use hot water. I'm so confused. I, I so say mine every week and a half, give or take. Give or take. <laughs> Give or take. Give or take. I mean, that's a broad definition, bro. That means what he remembers. Let the record show he's from Detroit. Jamel. You know, that, that, I'm Jamal. I don't know why. <laughs> Wait, no, is he an East Sider or a West Sider? You an East Sider or a West Sider? Oh, he's going. Okay. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Kia. Good morning, Charlemagne, DJ NV, and Jamel. Peace Good morning. Hey, what's going on? How often do you change your towel, Mama? Well, once every week is good enough for me. So on Sundays, I wash all my towels and all my bed sheets. Okay. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. I think once a week is the accurate yeah, answer. Yeah, that's the accurate number. And yeah, that's that's my mama used to do. Every Sunday, she would wash towels and, and the sheets every Sunday. But that's that's another important question. <laughs> like, how often you, do you change your sheets? Once oh, a week? No, those get changed a lot because I'm a, I'm a night sweater. So my wife definitely changes our sheets a lot. But boy, she just got some night sweat sheets. There's some type of sweat resistant sheets. I got those. Oh, those work? are amazing. They work amazing. Oh, yeah, like they amazing. I'm, like, I'm going to need to plug on that one. No, you could yeah. pour water on it and it's like gone. Like, oh, it's incredible. Those I are incredible. I didn't try that, but yeah. I don't know what the name brand is. Let me ask her. Hello, who's this? Yo, what's up? This is Bill. Hey, Bill. How often do you change your sheets, bro? Yo, no, I say Glenn. Glenn, Bill, all right, my bad. How often do you change no, your, your sheets? That's not that's not a my bad. It's, it's Glenn, it's got nothing to do with Bill. And Bill ain't got nothing to do with you Glenn. Know Thank you very much. Now, but y'all, now for real, I, now that I say it, I didn't think that it was disgusting. But I agree with the I just smell what. Your phone is disgusting, <laughs> sir. Yeah, your phone is nasty. Hello, who's this? Hello, this is Al. Hey, Al, take us off Bluetooth for speaker, please. Al. Yeah, you're not on Bluetooth. Thank you. Good morning, How often? Breakfast Club. I Good love morning. you guys. You Good morning. Funny. <laughs> so I think every four to five days, six days is okay, because not everybody, this might sound like an excuse, but not everybody might have an, a a washer and a dryer in their apartment. So True. Sometimes That's so a good point. Sometimes during the week. Yeah, but you shouldn't what, just what have that? one towel, though. 
You should have a, like, no, at least you two towels, three towels. towels. You don't just have one towel. I know you ain't talking. Yeah, no, you should definitely. <laughs> First of all, don't let Envy talk to you like that when he's using his wife's towel and he ain't got to. <laughs> Y'all got one towel in the house, sound like to me. Community <laughs> towel. No, you should have at least three towels in the house. You should. But after that, you know. But no, I agree. Yeah, I that, like your that, point about the washing and dryer. That does. That's like in college, mm -hmm. you know, I can't say I was every three to four days. I was probably like once a week, you know, maybe even a week and a half because mm -hmm. in, in college you broke and you don't have that many towels. Yeah, I ain't going to front of college. It might have went two weeks. I think, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I think I do two weeks now. <laughs> that's disgusting. As a grown yeah, ass not, man, that's not, disgusting, no. bro. It yes, it is. I have, two, I have two washcloths and a towel to dry off with. That's disgusting, bro. Two weeks goes by fast. Do you wash at night in the morning? Absolutely. And I'm you a, and yes, you need more than two weeks, bro. That a, towel stinks. I'm a two to sometimes three shower a day type of person. You smell oh, your yeah. towel? Does your wife smell yours? No. She, huh? Says y'all use the same one? No. She gets a fresh towel. But, but and, and that's how I know your towels ain't fresh because what makes the towel smell is the dampness of, of it. When them towels dry out, they don't be that rank. Two weeks they stink, bro. Rank. <laughs> 800-585-1051. How often do you wash your towels? Call us up right now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Call me. Get your opinion to The Breakfast Club top. Come on. 800-585-1051. <laughs> morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We have Jamel Hill, our guest host today. And you learn so much about people. Like, Jamel What's Hill, had, you know, she sparked this topic because, you know, she chose violence on Twitter, telling people <laughs> they don't be washing and, mm -hmm. you know, they don't change their towels and stuff. And now Jamel says she don't, you don't wash before you go to bed? Not all the time. No. Me neither. Yeah. Not every time. Not every, yeah. I do for specific reasons sometimes. It depends on what what has happened in the course of the day, what I've been doing. And you might have worked out. LA yeah. be hot. Oh, yeah. Well, after, yeah, yeah workout. Definitely, for sure. Like oh, I don't she go. want some sex. Yeah. Wash, wash that was going to be the other. That was going to be the other thing. <laughs> see, you, see, Envy picked up on it. I was like, yeah. well, the other thing, too, is yeah. that, you know, if you want to have everything fresh got you, got you, for got a you. sexy time. Got you. Definitely. I can understand Envy not washing before bed because that Beijing, like, you can't, <laughs> Shut up, man. you can't wash two and times a day with that <laughs> Beijing on your chin and oh, in your head. Oh, my goodness. You know? Let's go to the phone lines, man. Hello, who's this? Hello, who's this? This is Cherie from Houston. Hey, Cherie. Hey, Cherie. Yo. Good morning. Good morning. How often do you change your towel, mama? Every three days. Every three days. days. Every three days. And in between those three days, you really should throw your towel in the dryer because if you don't put that heat on it, it will, the bacteria, whatever, will start festering on the, the damp towels. And that's just nasty. That's what and I'm doing. And that's when you get rank. <laughs> That's when that yeah, towel be ranked. Right? It starts to hold that smell after a while when you wash them. It kind of smells moldy and dingy. Mm -mm, nobody wants that. What nobody. would you rather be rank or stink? Uh, I feel like rank is better. Oh. Uh, I would rather be neither. But I feel like I'm yeah, <laughs> neither. I was like, I'm, but, but stank is just stank. Yeah, stank is stank. But yeah. rank, 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 rank is rank is a little rank is subtle. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a quiet mm. funk. Yeah. Right? Whereas if you stank, it's like loud. Like when you say you stank, you're just like, oh, God. Okay. Some might be in my pores. That's how Thank you feel. You. Right? <laughs> you just see a doctor. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Sarah. Hey, good morning, mama. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Detroit. Look at, look at 313 representing. Please Heavy. don't say nothing trifling. <laughs> now, how often do you change your towel, mama? Um, I change my towel every time I shower. Ooh, the every day every person. Time. Boy, y'all rich. That's a lot of laundry detergent. Um, well, I wash my laundry once a week, so. Can I ask you what's going on with your body oh. that you got to change your towel every day? <laughs> if you if you don't mind me asking, like, what's what's the problem? <laughs> There's not a problem. I just like pulling a fresh towel and unfolding it. I don't believe that. I don't, I don't believe anybody that tells me they change their towel every day. I don't believe Bianca. B Bianca said it. She does it every day. But I do. She is right about something. There's something about like a fresh towel. Mm -hmm. Like, especially if it's like a warm, fresh towel. Yeah. Like that's, that's very luxurious feeling. Why do we have the mind state that, because I do this in hotels. I need fresh oh, towels all the, the time. Oh, in hotels, I'm the yeah, worst. Me too. I'm always calling out there, bring me, bring me bring more towels. I, I, I burn through those. Why do we do that in hotels because but not at home? you're not doing the laundry. You're not doing the laundry. Mm. And, and most hotel towels are white, right? That's and so right. it's just like, you know, it just, it's something about a white Ooh. towel that just starts to look kind of dingy. 
or whatever. White towels are like a therapist. You get to see yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It exposes what you've been doing that day, right? <laughs> but you know, in a, in a hotel too, I take the sheets off the bed every day to make sure they change the sheets because they have this new thing now where you got like, to ask, right? Yeah, you got to ask to yeah. change the sheets. I may I take the sheets off every day. I want new sheets every day. I think hotel. you just be embarrassed because you be uh, ruining them people's sheets with all that <laughs> oh Beijing. My goodness, man, what's the moral of the story, man? Why is it always about? I don't even use Beijing. The moral of the story is just wash your damn towels. That's really the moral of the story. Because somebody in this room, who I'm not, well, not in this room, but in this building, said they don't wash their towels until they smell something. What? That's not good. That is not good. That is not That's good. Actually, at all. disgusting. <laughs> How often do they smell it? Like, how fast does it take to smell? Well, they, if they know. have to, if, if the odor probably jumps up on them. See what I'm wow, saying? That's right. And if that's the case, if your towel is smelling that bad, then, you know, what was leading into that? That's right. He said, his, he said I, I thought I heard, if I heard correctly, he said his new girlfriend is the one who's been. Who got him together on that. Well, you wouldn't have a new girlfriend if you know you change your towels more often. Okay. <laughs> You'd have a one OG girlfriend. All right. You're going to keep having new girlfriends. Because every time they smell them towels, they're going to be out. <laughs> but, <laughs> but most women, though, there is an expectation that we have that a lot of, you know, guys you may date or you wind up being your significant other. Like, there, there's going to be an expected level of nastiness, right? Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be an expected level where you just like, you know, because my husband tells me this all the time is that, and he's a very clean person, that he holds women to a much higher standard. Mm -hmm. He was like, you know, like. Men can be a little nasty. Y'all can get away with it, but like women cannot get away with that. That's true. Yeah. Now, Jamil, pause, pause, pause. Quick question. Do you oh do the laundry God. in your crib or does your husband? We we both do it. <laughs> why does is that pause? I don't know why I'm was a pause. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Okay. Does, your, does your husband have white underwear? Um, man, you been checking out wood, man. <laughs> yo, yo, you a wild boy, man. I don't understand. What the, I don't even understand no, this line of questions. Because Ray J was here. Ray J was telling men that they shouldn't have white underwear because it's embarrassing when their woman washes the underwear. I'm just asking. Okay, but why are you a grown man with streaks? Is the is the bigger question? That's right. Do y'all not have y'all not? I, I mean, agree. are we not at a point where we're using wipes? Somebody called up here yesterday and literally said they learned how to wipe their ass properly because they heard <laughs> that conversation we had on the Breakfast Club. This was two weeks ago, Jamel. Oh that man God. was like thirty something years old. <laughs> that is that's shameful. I don't think my husband has a lot of white underwear. Most of them are like black, you know, different colors, red, okay, just whatever. Ask him. Just and I, I have never seen a streak. All right. <laughs> a streak anywhere. All right. You should well, not have gave Envy that visual of wood and no black <laughs> underwear. He is not that's what he wanted, Jamel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so now understanding Instagram. why Envy is in this prison, man. Oh, my goodness. Y'all gonna let Envy live. Oh, no. Free Envy. Liberate. Oh, my goodness. All right. When we come back, Nyla Simone is joining us. Of course, DJ Nyla Simone, you know, she does Pass the Aux. That's when we tap into her playlist, say what's uh, new, what's popping, what we should be looking for or listening to. And we're gonna do that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.